What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. reaction. Welcome back to your 80s day for Miss Lori Gerard. I know you've missed it. How many times over the last couple weeks have I said I'm just absolutely out of it and haven't felt good? Today's another one of those days. I'm up. It's quarter to 10 in the morning, and I'm going to film this quick. I don't want to waste too much time. Babble about how I don't feel good about my sinuses as usual. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to keep pushing content. Lori, thank you as always for this. You haven't sent me a new list yet. I, I see there's a couple more songs left that you have right here. I know you've got a lot. I know you've got a lot and you're gonna send me more. I don't know if you wanna wait till after I'm done with the band Slaughter, like those two songs by them. But otherwise, I'm ready for some new songs. Before I get into it, let me just say, I hope you guys are having a good day. And if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to your day. Cause guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're a warrior, you're a soldier, stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent or you can DM me personally on my socials, but you do got this. Bro fist. High five. You got this, guys. I know it's easier to send the number, but you do got this. Try and stay with me now without further ado. Oh, dang. Forgive me, I can't stop yawning, and I don't know why. Dude, that dude drumsticks are freaking huge, and yes, I just realized that. Yeah, hold on, let me pause here real quick. Any lyrics in the description? Nope. I guess I'll go ahead and look up the li I'm sorry I keep yawning so much. I promise the song is not boring me. I just didn't get much sleep last night. They actually do have a meaning for it. Okay, song facts. I love the rhythm so far, and I love the fact that they basically based the music video out of like several different concerts, like not just one. Like, because there are the occasional music videos where they mainly like they'll do the soundtrack, they'll do the audio of the song, but the music video itself, like the video for the song, will be them at a concert. And this is one of the times, I mean, it's still early on in the music video. It may transition around, but so far it's literally, I mean, it's a concert, but it's also, it's not just a concert. It's literally several different concerts for one video. Like you can tell like the, they, they shifted the crowd. They went to the open stadium, the filled stadium the different sets, the different outfits, but they're like, they, they're, they're doing a big old montage. Like, and I gotta, even that alone is just fancy editing. It's, it's, it's fun to watch that in the music videos, to watch the band perform and just go through different performances. Like it's fun to watch that stuff too. The only thing I can imagine the price means is literally just what the title says. Just, it's a consequence of something. I don't exactly know what that consequence is. If it's a consequence of fame, if it's a consequence of being a bad person or in a relationship or what, it's a consequence of something, but you don't, you don't say the price, especially the way that I can tell the way they're singing it. Like it's the price of something. It's a consequence of something, but I don't exactly know what just yet. Very early on in the song, I definitely love the rhythm already. I love the dude's big drumsticks. Like, you know, they just did that for <laughs> and giggles. Like they, they, you obviously couldn't play the drums like that, but they're just goofing off for that. Unless they actually managed to find big drumsticks that worked for that set. I, I just think it's funny. Dude, 
those drumsticks are killing me. Well, is he going back? I don't know. I'm so confused by that. I'm gonna slice the dice, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna make this really quick just to make sure I get one more pause in there for copyright. I don't have anything else to add. I don't know why those drumsticks are confusing me because on one hand it looks like he keeps using like drumsticks that are way too big for anybody to use and then on another hand it cuts to a shot like, wait a minute, he's actually able to use those. <laughs> They're like messing with my head, bro. Like, is he do is he just being funny? Is he being savage or is it both? Is he actually being serious? <laughs> Like, it's funny if he's actually using the big sticks, but I'm like getting confused. I'm like, I, I swear I'm going crazy. Like, wait a minute. That last shot, he actually had regular size sticks, and then the next shot, he doesn't have regular size. I don't get it. I don't know why. I, I don't got anything. This is just a fun song, straight up. Okay, wait a minute, they're talking about the price of life. I'm sorry. Hey, it's me. Okay, let's look at the meaning right away, because I'm already dying to know exactly. Because I, I, I swear I finally started getting it after a few choruses. The, just, the price we all pay to carry on. So is this just the price of life itself? I know I'm already overthinking and I'm worried because I'm still like out of it right now. Like I am watching it. I do know what I just watched. I just don't exactly know what the song means exactly, but I had fun listening to it. The song is about the sacrifices we make to achieve our goals. Twisted Sister was on the verge of a breakthrough when he wrote this song, but it was a long struggle to reach that point. Snyder joined the band in 1976 and they gradually built a following in the New York City area with their live shows. Led by the singles, we're not gonna take it, and I wanna rock. Oh, they, they're the ones that do the, we're not gonna take it. Oh, dude, I barely, Lord, you gotta have me do those. I've never seen the music videos for that, and I don't think I've actually heard the whole songs of those before, but I've seen them all across social media and in the commercials on TV and everything. I'm vaguely familiar with those songs, like I know the tune, but I so wanna react to those. I mean, it's it's you. It's it, it's it's your request. I don't want to just jump on something, but dang, I and I, I want to. I really want to listen to those songs in full, but I also want to. I can't believe they did that. Anyways, for Snyder, the price of pursuing his dream of rock stardom was steep, as it meant time away from his family. In our interview with Snyder, he explained, "I had been away from home for months, for four months, from my wife and son, and not even in a position to pay for a phone call. That's how hungry the band was." I wrote. That's how hungry the band was. I wrote the price inspired by those feelings at that time. So the song is literally about the price of fame. So pretty much what I said to begin with, the price of fame. And that in itself is a huge topic and could open a can of worms for anybody. 
he is specifically talking about the more direct family side of it. Like, he missed his wife and his kid, and he couldn't even afford a phone call to make home. Like, they were going on tour for four months, and he couldn't even get in contact with them. Like, imagine being away from your family for that long. Like, I know there's other uh, jobs out there. There's, it's not just musicians, so to speak, but... You know, just imagine having, imagine being away from your family for months on end and not being able to communicate with them. Like, that would suck so bad. I, I couldn't have, like, I moved away from my parents. They, they don't even live that far from me. And I still text them every day. Like, I couldn't, and I don't even really want to be away from my girlfriend for more than a day. Like, we live together and I, like, I may be coming to my office here to hang out by myself for a couple hours at a time, but I don't like being away from her, you know? I can only imagine what it's like to actually go on a tour. But I get what he's, I do get what he's trying to sing about. I get it. And like we, we could get into a whole thing of that. Like I'm, and I'm not going to do that today because we'd be here for hours just over one little song. But I do understand what he's trying to say, and I respect it. Are they still around? Like, do they still perform? Because I noticed with some of the bands that you send me, they're like, so, some of them are still making music to this day and some of them aren't. So I guess I could look it up right now. Just simple click, but sometimes it doesn't tell you. I want to hear from the big fan herself, Lori. So you tell me. I'm going to shut up. You guys in the comments, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember... My name is Jeff. Pef Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.